All right, I'm here at the infamous Wired by Greg. So today we are going to be installing, actually I'll let him decide, I'll, I'll have him tell you. Hold on. Hi there. Let me try to flip this, there we go. Oh, that's What's crazy. up? I like that, how oh, you doing? Thank you. I'm good, how are you? Phenomenal. So for those that don't know Greg, this is Greg. Greg does all of my wiring for like the past three trucks. Uh, now he's getting his hands dirty with the uh, the ram. I usually hit a Greg uh, 12 hours in advance uh, to get stuff done. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This time it worked. So what are we doing, Greg? Uh, we're going to throw the uh, S2s from Baja Designs on the rear bumper. Uh, they make a cool little kit. Part number 44-8038. But uh, it's got these two stainless brackets goes on the rear bumper trim should be fairly simple sweet i don't have to turn this volume down because i'm gonna get flagged uh oh there we go yeah you don't wanna you don't have to pay ll cool j for anything no so we're gonna be installing that and then we're discussing future options with this uh but the next thing that we're gonna be doing after that is i just snagged the new rdmdb from rugged radio this is their digital mobile radio it's a dual band VHF and UHF. We're going to be running a, a universal antenna mount, the Unimag, so it's magnets going to be going on top. Antenna wise, we're going to be doing their uh, half wave spring. Half wave like antenna with spring. And then I also have the uh, new little schnazzy DMR, little transceiver. So, really stoked to continue with the rugged love. Um, and yeah, we're going to be mounting the, uh, it's got a little drop down brackets that go underneath there. So have some reverse light. And then the goal is RTL mini, RTL mini, RTL mini. Um, I'm going to be pulling, CJC has the uh, bezel mount so that I can pull this bezel out that can only hold one or some people have done two S2s in there. I'm going to be switching over to what would be normally on the big horn so I can put a squadron uh, in there and then figure out ditch lights and figure out some other good stuff here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to dive into it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hi. The little anti-C is on it. There you go. Oh, man, you got a, Look at this forearm. You got a man. torque on these things. Um, so, yeah. The last two, Dodge Ram bracket, pretty flip, sweet. Flip the lens, make it look snazzy. Oh, you f oh, so it wouldn't be upside down? Yeah, that's a little thing that AJ taught me. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. AJ, uh, photo runner? Oh, yeah, he said, oh, you want to see the brand. Brand recognition, don't put it upside down. Cut fail here, always supporting watching over, making sure Greg is doing God's work. <laughs> Actually, I think this is all, I think this is a plug and play kit. Oh, it, it looks completely easy peasy. Damn, had I known, I wouldn't have brought this to you. You could have done it yourself in your garage. I could have. But then again, I seized like one of the bolts on that front balance that CJC what? makes. I didn't, well, wait, it stopped going. We could try your tools. But it's like, I can't screw it in anymore. It's Baja's hardware? No, 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 no. It's CJC's. This little guy. Oh, oh. Stainless? Yes. You use anti-seize, right? No. That bolt will be cut off. Sick. So anyways. Greg does everything wiring. He did my Tundra, which another individual owns. Um, and that truck was a lot of work. A lot of work. You won't see anything like it in any other Tundra. Um, uh, oh, wait. Roy's. No, nah, Roy's. But, Never mind. But no, no, Roy's is sick. Um, yeah, yeah, it's up there. I say top two or three. But. Yeah, Roy's is actually way gnarlier. Um, 
this truck, my focus is to make it all attainable for everyone that is watching. That's why I'm running Baja's, because Baja has direct plug and play, which I paid full price for. Um, and yeah, what else? Rugged radio. All, I mean, besides running the wiring, it's all super easy. So, all right, I'm gonna stop talking. So what are you doing? Oh, we are undoing the rear trim on the back bumper. It's got 10 millimeter bolts with these little clipsies. Little clipsies. And uh, I'm not sure if that's the technical. No, that is. That's what the scientific term is. And then uh, a little chingaderas goes on. Uh oh, there we go. Look at that. And it's just gonna clear Perfect. the mega fit. Oh, that looks good. It's meant to be. Hey, you wanna figure out how to rewire my uh, reverse camera? Uh, yeah, what's, what's going on with it? <laughs> uh, the one that Rig has, it has a. I guess it's just the wrong plug. It's like a fe it's it's a female when it should be a male or whatever. Okay. Um, I should just have. Are they far from here? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I should have them run me a plug. Are they in their new headquarters? Here? Moving in. Hi there. So for those that don't know, this is Greg's favorite part. Yes. The harness look factory on their kit. You tap in the factory brake light, reverse light harness. Ah, uh -huh. with their cool little add a tap. So, yeah, I mean, I don't have any switches yet, so I'm not too concerned about that. Not yet, but when I do, are we gonna have to? Should we put them on a switch or just leave these as solely reverse? Uh, we'll leave these as reverse. And um, then just add. Yeah, but then I can, uh, um, depending on which switch system you go with. I'm, I'm getting the RCR12. We will, uh, we will use this wire right here as one of the triggers. Mm. So when you put it in reverse, they come on. And then you also have a button up front to have them come on. Cool. So they have the triggered outputs, or inputs, I should say. Um, but this harness from Baja is super easy. That's how we like it. Especially if you don't have a spare tire. Next thing we're gonna do is ride the, find a place for the rugged radio and then wire it up. So quick, easy job. It's probably the easiest thing I've given Greg <laughs> so far. Oh yeah. The rest of it's just a complete shit show. <laughs> Forty lights. They all need to go to this place. Radio that shouldn't go there. Trucks dirty. Just everything. So it's an easy day. Well, that escalated uh, quickly. So, look how sleek this radio is. Super sleek. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. What normally happens is we just start tearing stuff apart. So here is the entire Tesla screen and we are gonna be mounting it right on top. It makes the most sense. Mounting the glove box is kind of annoying. You gotta look down and figure out you know, check channels and just takes your eyes off the road whereas this is going to be right there. It's not going to be too high where it's obstructing your view because uh, radio is pretty slim. And so we are going to be mounting the bracket right on top, which still we're going to be able to have that DC um, outlet available. So yeah, look at all this prep work. See how fancy he is. Things that escalated. Things that always escalate. <laughs> I just said Escalade like Cadillac. Escalate. It's gonna be fancy. Super fancy.
washers, so... That's okay, they're not going to be seen. So, Greg just did that. We did and nut certs. Nut certs. And uh, that's how we're going to mount it. It's going to be a little offset so we can still use the mounting screws for this whole thing uh, and still have, to still have access to the DC, which is actually where my skosh, where my skosh uh, dash cam goes. So, and then he's got these sweet little, what I call those washers? These? Or yeah. Just little spacers? Yeah, spacers. Chingaderas? Chingaderas. That's what it, that's what it is. That's what I was wondering. Couldn't it's on the tip of my tongue, but I couldn't really get it. So yeah. We're gonna screw those in. So a little arts and crafts, eh? Yes. Oh man. Oh, oh. Jenga! All right, well, we're just going to have to do them one by one. What was I thinking? Watch me actually do research and find a company that does make it a plate. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised because I think someone does. I think Expedition does make a plate up there, Expedition 1, because they have it in the... Uh, Jason has it in his truck. No, it's like a he, T-pan. No, his... Oh, yeah. But yeah. his is the older one, too. I think he homemade his. Oh, really? Uh, he's, he's very... Uh, he's, he's very good at homemaking. Self-sufficient. Homemade... Homemaking? Homemaking. Homemader? Homemaker? He is a homemaker. I always get hit up. People go, how'd you make that bracket? I don't know. Just, we want off stuff. We wing it here. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, that's, but that's the motto of Wired by Greg. Wired by Greg. Hashtag wing it. Good news is though, no one's gonna see those little what washers. But it's a, it's a good and bad thing. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if you randomly see Travis, go hey, can I check out those spacers that Greg made for you in the dashboard? They're forged. Yeah. We got it right off the CNC machine. Yes. All right, we're gonna mount this up, and I'll check in. Look at that. Slick. Slick Rick. Pretty snazzy. We can get all your, your cables through, the antenna through. We'll be good. We don't have to modify any of the harnesses. I like it. I like it. And one of the things that Greg asked was external speaker, but the good thing about running this where it's at is why, Greg? Because the audio will bounce off the windshield. Boom. Oops. Not much modification either. Yeah, not bad. Not either. bad. Pretty cool. I'm going to look very high speed. And that's always the goal. Yes. Yeah. Now we'll try to put it back in without scratching the crap out of it. Yep. What's also cool is that the, will you grab that mic real quick? Yeah. Hand mic. So on the back of the hand mic, there's actually already a skosh piece, a skosh uh, mag plate. So I'll just have to, on this center console piece, I'll just find another place to put a magic mount. Uh, with the skosh item, so that way it just adheres to it. And there we go.
Uh, you're not gonna. You would hear the. The flat. Yeah. But that's kind of what we gotta work with. So, what I do is, is I've got a trick. I can't film it. It's like a trick. Oh, okay. So, cutting this off, guys. Sorry. Alright, so. I know it's a little glary, but whatever. Um, antenna ran, it's up underneath the third brake light, so we're not gonna have any issues there. Uh, ran down the headline, headliner, down this pillar, underneath. We're working on getting this all cleaned up. So one of the things that uh, Greg, being the genius that he is, thought of ahead of time was getting the extension um, which actually ended up being the perfect length for how this is being ran. Obviously you can see the other cables running right there. That's going to be ran all hidden and then radio is mounted up there. Nifty. Radio um, is in there. Uh, this is the mic output right here. I can keep my M mic in here. But what I'm going to figure out at some point is you see that little mag plate on the back? This goes with like a Scotch Magic mount, and there's just a lot of curves throughout here. So I'm gonna take the time one day to figure out where I can put it, or I just leave it unplugged until I need to use it. Uh, I can still operate it as you know monitoring, um, and then pull this out when I need to. Um, but yeah, super clean, and I still have access to the DC. Greg's just. Hiding wires. And I like the way this installs. It's a no drill install. <laughs> <laughs> no drill. Listen, there's uh here, let me let me flip this around. So one of the things you have to get used to when you start doing a lot of stuff to these trucks, whether it's lighting, wiring in general, or even radios is you're gonna have to make modifications to your vehicle that are sometimes scary. Um, and at first, like this is like my third or fourth vehicle I've done, uh, a little crazy. But, the Tundra was yeah. probably the worst. That but was if, the most worst. Yeah, but if you use the right parts and the right accessories and stuff, it's waterproof, it's done correctly. Well, yeah, that's the biggest thing is that yeah, it may look scary, but you can actually, when it's done right, it's done right. So Correct. if there's holes drilled into the bottom of your vehicle, it's using proper marine grade stuff sealed properly. So you're, it's just like factory. Correct. Um, yeah, that's a big thing. So if you need wiring stuff and you're in California, I'm telling you, Greg is the person to go. Literally every vehicle you probably see on Instagram that has somewhat of a, of a following and sometimes they don't, but there's a reason why they come here to, uh, too great. I don't know. My odometer literally, after you shut that door, just went up a mile. The door? Yeah, when you shut the door, it went up a mile. Oh, it's because when I drilled the hole, you like lost a little bit of the truck. Oh, that's so what it like, was. Boom, there you go. Yeah. Deep, the depreciation of Exactly. Mile, you know? So, yeah, if you need stuff, wiring, Greg is the guy to go to, no matter what it is, even audio. Um, I've gone over it a few times, so... But I just got a few more things. We're going to wire up the power to this radio, um, do a little test run, and then we will be done for this round. There's always going to be more. I'm waiting on some more lights from Baja. And Greg's going to have a blast. So, yep, almost done. Okay. So are we going through the firewall or are we going up and underneath the vehicle? Up and underneath. Up and underneath. Yes. I got to replace these batteries. The only reason we're not um, going through your firewall on this just get the turbo. Yeah. Gets a wee bit hot. Jeez. Um, but yeah, I'll be replacing these batteries here hopefully soon with some full throttles. Woo! Woo! Full throttles on the road. Got a party. This actually comes with a dual battery, which is super rad. I'm gonna pretend like I'm helping. Oh, thank you. Here you go, sir. Perfect. You're welcome. Hey, if you want to help, this here you go. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna keep pulling. Okay. Tell me when it looks like uh, we're running out of cable.
Yeah, it should be good. You've had enough vehicles done. You should know when. Well, I don't know. And it's good. I seized. I seized that bolt on this. Ooh, yeah. I CJC think. CJC thing. So. I have to borrow your grinder wheel. Ooh, look at all that fanciness right there. Is she fancy? It's a whole bunch of stuff I don't know nothing about. Oh yeah. Just don't touch that. But yeah, basically this is gonna go there. That's gonna go here. There. We're gonna do some zip tie action. Uh, do a connection under the vehicle. Seal it up. All done. And then we're gonna grind off uh, bolt I seized. Yes, sounds sir. good. You actually quoted this perfect timing too. I've got X amount of hours to get this done, and here we are about to get it done in under X amount of hours. And I'm gonna throw him a curveball of having to cut off. Oh, that's no, no problem. No. It's okay. All right, we have power. We have power. So I also have the handheld. This is the DMR receiver. Super rad. So I'm just gonna both on the same channel. I'm just gonna cue it. Ooh. Oh, really? Sick. You know what they say? Go for broke. <laughs> you don't half ass it. You don't need safety screws when you strip them out, though. That's the good thing. Yeah, that's the, well, that's the point. Is I wanted it to be permanent. No, no, but this uh, I think this is one of the first ones. I didn't want it to get stolen. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to put a note that says good luck. Good luck trying. I don't think any of them have NSCs on it. So... I'll try and put it in first. And if no luck, then we'll do the chop chop. It is super sleek though, ain't it? Oh, I like it. Get rid of that big old valance. Yep. This little test. So I'm going to pull the mic out. Pull this little grommet out right here. Set that aside. Plug the mic in and give it a little whirl. Radio check, radio check. Radio check, over. Does it sound clear? Very good. There we go. All set. I like it. I can't even hear it out here, which is that's a good thing. Is actually way more clear than any of the other radios I've ran. That having the speaker up top too is is cool, but that antenna is, that looks good, man. I really like it. And that's all she wrote, people. Go check out this big right now.